the Cayman Islands. Table of Contents, the Cayman Islands. All about the Cayman Islands. With visiting and touring information. Geography. History. Attractions. And author points of interest. Dr. Sidney Socloff. Dr. Sidney22 at gmail.com. 2022. Narration by Dr. Sidney Socloff. Zoe Phonemes. And Nathan Coltove. For a more complete discussion of YouTube navigation, please go to this video using the link here. The Cayman Islands. The Cayman Islands. The Cayman Islands are south of Cuba in the Greater Antilles. The Cayman Islands are a British overseas territory. Located in the Western Caribbean Sea. Comprising the islands of Grand Cayman, Cayman Brac, and Little Cayman. The population of the Cayman Islands is 43,000. The vast majority of the population resides on Grand Cayman. Cayman Brac is the second most populated with about 1,200 residents. Followed by Little Cayman with around 200 permanent residents. The Cayman Islands were colonized from Jamaica by the British during the 18th and 19th centuries. They were administered by Jamaica since 1863. But they remained a British dependency after 1962. When Jamaica became independent. The Cayman Islands are now a British crown colony. The capital of the Cayman Islands is Georgetown. On the largest of the islands, Grand Cayman. The coat of arms includes a pineapple and turtle above a shield with three stars, representing the three islands, and a scroll at the bottom bearing the national motto. He hath founded it upon the seas. With no direct taxation, the islands are thriving offshore financial syntax. More than 40,000 companies we registered in the Cayman Islands, including almost 600 banks and trust companies. It is a major financial center in the Caribbean. Tourism is also a mainstay, accounting for about 70% of GDP and 75% of foreign currency earnings. The tourist industry is aimed at the luxury market and caters mainly to visitors from North America. Total tourist arrivals exceeded 1.2 million with 600,000 from the U.S. About 90% of the island's food and consumer goods must be imported. Nevertheless, the Caymanians enjoy one of the highest standards of living in the world. Chapter 2 History of the Cayman Islands The Cayman Islands were sighted by Christopher Columbus on May 10, 1503 on his disastrous fourth and final voyage to the New World. He named them Las Tortugas after the numerous sea turtles there. The first recorded English visito to the islands was C. Francis Drake who landed there in 1586. C. Francis Drake named them the Cayman Islands after the Neo-Taino nation's term. Cayman. For Aligato, the islands, along with nearby Jamaica, were captured by the Spanish, then ceded to England in 1670, under the Treaty of Madrid. They were governed as a single colony with Jamaica until 1962 when they became a separate British overseas territory, and Jamaica became an independent Commonwealth realm, the largely unprotected at sea level island of Grand Cayman was hit by Hurricane Ivan on September 11th and 12th in 2004. This destroyed many buildings and damaged 70% of them. Power Water and communications were all disrupted in some areas for months, 
as Ivan was the worst hurricane to hit the islands in 86 years. However, Grand Cayman forced a major rebuilding process, and within two years its infrastructure was nearly returned to pre-Ivan levels. The Cayman Islands have the dubious honor of having experienced the most hurricane strikes in history. Due to the proximity of the islands, more hurricane and tropical systems have affected the Cayman Islands than any other region in the Atlantic Basin, brushed or hit every 2.23 years. The economy of the Cayman Islands was once centered around turtle hunting. However, this industry began to disappear in the 20th century. And tourism and financial services began to become the economic mainstays during the 1970s. The United States is the Cayman Islands' largest trading partner. Chapter 3 Economy of the Cayman Islands with an average income of around $44,000. Caymanians enjoy the highest standard of living in the Caribbean. According to the CIA World Factbook, the Cayman Islands' GDP per capita is the 12th highest in the world. Tourism accounts for 70-75% to 75 of the annual GDP of the Cayman Islands. Of the millions of tourists that visit the islands annually, 99% visit Grand Cayman. Georgetown also serves as a major cruise ship port, which brings in 4,000 to 22,000 tourists a day, five days a week, depending on the number of ships in port. The Cayman Islands are home to 600 banks and are the fifth largest banking center in the world, with $1.5 trillion in banking liabilities. One reason for the Cayman Islands' success as an offshore financial center has been the concentration of top quality service providers. These include leading global financial institutions including UBS and Goldman Sachs. Other 80 administrators Leading accountancy practices including the big four auditors and offshore law practices. Chapter 4 Money of the Cayman Islands The islands print their own currency. The Cayman Islands dollar, KYD. Currency exchange rates can change daily. For the latest exchange rate click on this icon for the Cayman Islands dollar. The islands print their own currency. The Cayman Islands dollar, KYD, which is pegged to the U.S. dollar at a fixed rate of 1 KYD equals 1 U.S. dollar and 22 cents. Chapter 5 Georgetown Georgetown on Grand Cayman Island is the capital of the Cayman Islands in the British West Indies. This is downtown Georgetown. This shows Georgetown and Seven Mile Beach. Georgetown is the heart of the Cayman Islands financial industry, with over 600 banks located there. Most of these are small one-room operations, and some having no physical location on the island at all. All ships are currently required to unco in the harbor and send up passengers onto the island. Ships tend up passengers to one of two Georgetown docks north or south, both of which are right in downtown Georgetown. On busy days, upwards of 10 cruise ships can be docked in the harbor. Consequently, the roads near the cruise terminal are crammed with duty-free shops, tourists, restaurants, and bars. This is a view of Georgetown. This is a view of Georgetown. This is a view of downtown Georgetown. This is a waterfront view of downtown Georgetown. The Cayman Islands National Museum is dedicated to the preservation research and display of all aspects of the Caymanian heritage.
The Cayman Islands National Museum is located in the Old Courts Building on Harbor Drive in downtown Georgetown. The museum contains over 4,000 items artifacts ranging from tiny coins to a 14-foot cat boat. The Natural History Exhibit also has a three-dimensional map depicting the underwater geological formations that surround the Cayman Islands. These are views of downtown Georgetown. This is Georgetown. This is Georgetown. These are more views of Georgetown. These are more views of Georgetown. These are more views of Georgetown. The Cayman Islands are regarded as one of the world's best scuba diving destinations because of its crystal clear waters. Cayman Brac and Little Cayman are also elite scuba dive destinations. There are several snorkeling locations where tourists can swim with stingrays including Stingray City on Grand Cayman. A favorite area for viewing coral reef is off of the Cayman Islands. There is an abundance of marine life among the exotic coral formations. Bosun's Beach is a marine theme park and home of the Cayman Turtle Farm. The main functions of the turtle farm are to provide the local market with edible turtle meat thus preventing the need to hunt turtles in the wild and to replenish the waters with hatchling and yearling turtles. This shows the location of the turtle farm on Grand Cayman Island. Visitors today can observe about a hundred circular concrete tanks in which these sea creatures exist in every stage of development. The hope is that one day their population in the sea will regain its former status. This is the turtle farm. Chapter 6 Hell of the Cayman Islands The town of Hell is, admittedly, a tourist trap. It is centered on a field of crusty black, rizzo sharp rocks that look like the surface of, well, Hell. But you may find it difficult to resist the impulse to send a postcard that's postmarked Hell. Hell is about 10 miles north of Georgetown. Hell is a group of short, black, limestone formations in the northwest Grand Cayman town of West Bay. It is roughly the size of half a football field and people are not allowed in amongst the limestone formations. However, two viewing platforms exist for tourists. There are numerous versions of how Hell received its name, but they are generally variations on what a local official exclaimed. This is what Hell must look like. It is also claimed that the name Hell is derived from the fact that if a pebble is thrown out into the formation, it echoes amongst the limestone peaks and valleys and sounds as if the pebble is falling all the way down to Hell, regardless of how it first came to be called Hell. The name stuck and the area has become something of a tourist attraction. Featuring a fee engine Red Hell themed post office from which you can send postcards from Hell. And a gift shop with Satan passing out souvenirs while greeting people with phrases like how the hell are you, and where the hell are you from. Ironically, some of the stores in the area feature prominent quotations from the Bible on their sides. This is due to the conservative nature of Caymanian society. Hell can be quite busy as it is a stop for cruise ship tours. Chapter 7 Beaches of the Cayman Islands One of Grand Cayman's main attractions is the world-famous Seven Mile Beach, on which a number of the island's hotels and resorts are located. Seven Mile Beach starts at Georgetown and has everything from beachfront bars to water sports. Seven Mile Beach is regarded by many as one of the best beaches in the world. 
Seven Mile Beach is home to the majority of the island's luxury resorts and hotels. Like the rest of Grand Cayman, the development around here was severely damaged in Hurricane Ivan. But many condominiums and hotels are now running close to full capacity. The Queen Elizabeth II Botanic Park consists of 65 acres of everything from nature walks to natural wetlands to colorful floral gardens. The Queen Elizabeth II Botanic Park is located about 15 miles east of Georgetown. This is the Queen Elizabeth II Botanic Park. This is another view of the Queen Elizabeth II Botanic Park. Pedro St. James Castle or Pedro's Castle is the oldest existing structure in the Cayman Islands. The Great House itself, circa 1780, is the island's oldest stone structure. Pedro's Castle is located on the southern coast of Grand Cayman. The castle, or rather a manor house was constructed in 1780 as the home of plantation owner William Eaton and 50 years later it served to house the first elected parliament in the Cayman Islands. It is therefore known as the birthplace of democracy on the islands because it was at the building, in 1831, that the decision was made to vote for elected representatives, and four years later, in 1835, the Slavery Abolition Act was read from the stone archway of the building. The building was reduced to ruin after decades of neglect. The original two-story building and its verandas were rebuilt in the 18th century style during a $6 million restoration in 1996. Recommended videos, Cayman Islands. Recommended video, Cayman Islands Tourist Attractions Top 10, 5 minutes, 49 seconds. Recommended video, 15 things you didn't know about the Cayman Islands. 12 minutes, 8 seconds. Recommended video, why are the Cayman Islands so rich? 6 minutes, 51 seconds. Recommended video, hell. Grand Cayman Islands, 1 minutes, 7 seconds. Table of Contents, The Cayman Islands Thanks for watching. Please watch some more of my great videos.